Audio Technica LP1240 direct drive turntable. Now, Wes from Audio Technica, welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's good to have you here. For once, I'm not the tall guy on set. <laughs> I appreciate that very much, and I appreciate this. Now, this is this is kind of cool. It, it it weighs a ton. Yeah, it's it's the new uh, DJ table. We we launched the LP120 last year, which is more of a hi-fi unit, mm -hmm. um, which had the dust cover that was attached. This fully removes, uh, which is kind of what DJs are off. Uh, sorry, it's kind of what DJs are after. Um, it has two stop-start buttons. So you can um, actually run it in different orientation if you're using it for scratching and so on. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Plays uh, 33s, 45s, and 78s uh, for all the 1930s fans that can play 78s out there. But So I can digitize all of my old like, exactly. Gene Pitney well, records. It, it does have USB capabilities you know, for home studio, beat making, and things like that. Um, but I guess the biggest point of difference is it's got a huge motor in it. So it can stop on a dime due to... Due to your variable acceleration deceleration. That's exactly right. It's almost right. like you knew what I was going to say there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, it can stop on a dime as you can see there. Or if you're, you know, precious about your needle and precious about your record, you can have it slowly come down to a, a halt there. So. Or oh, the bit I like is if you're not precious about any of it, <laughs> is you can make it run backwards. Yeah, totally. So if you got Strawberry Fields playing the Beatles, you can hear I Killed John over and over again. Well, there you go. Um, now, also, another thing I've noticed on the back is you can switch your line, your, your RCA output to run in line out mode. Yeah, so, you, so you can get an actual line out. So if you don't have a device with a phono preamp, which is a lot of, I guess, a lot of domestic gear these days, um, this is going to answer some, some problems for people in a home situation as much as a professional. Exactly right. It is a professional DJ turntable, but it doesn't mean that you can't use it in a hi-fi experience at home or in the studio. I mean, they really tried to make... Uh, a one-fits-all type of turntable. I mean, mm -hmm. it has the double stop starts, which is essential for a DJ, but it has a lot of features that I think um, would attract a hi-fi guru, um, which is why a lot of hi-fi stores have taken this on board just as, as much as the DJ stores. Mm. Um, yeah, all black, sexy ass, smooth, you know, yeah, what else do you want? Yeah, finish. It's gonna, it's gonna show up the fingerprints, but... Yeah, well, that's uh, true. So will most things. <laughs> Okay, now another thing that they, they've got right here, in, in my opinion, is this. It's an LED cue light, so you can see where you're actually dropping the needle on. Uh, it's never going to fail, and you can remove it if you don't want it there. Where's pricing wise, where's this sit? The RRP is going to be $7.99, which um, I think is extremely affordable. Uh, it's a, basically an Australian exclusive. Um, yeah, you know, it plays 33s, 45s, and 78s. How many 78s do you have at the moment? I, I couldn't even begin to count. And what about laser disc? Should we put a laser disc? Because I hear you have a bit of a laser disc I, I do have disc a bit of a laser disc collection, but I don't think it's going to play them. It might. It might. It might. It might. Yeah, seven ninety nine is a great price for what this is. Um, it's built, like I said, it's built like a brick house. The insides are, are quite impressive. Um, you know, the build structure, it's thick, weighs a ton. It's going to last forever, um, and you can use it for pretty much anything you need. So, except playing laser discs. That's true. It's very true. But still, other than laser discs, you know, pretty good option. Yeah, LP twelve forty.